Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can install Android OS on VirtualBox and be able to run it as a virtual machine. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download the ISO image for Android OS. So open a browser and search for Android dash x86. Then you want to go to this link that takes you to Android dash x86.org. Then once here, just click on the download link and then click on the uh, this option to download. On this page, scroll down, you'll see we have uh, 32 bit and 64 bit ISO image. So I'm going with the 64 bit, click on it and then click download now and it should start to download. Now, depending on your internet speed, it could take longer or it could be quick. So for mine, it's saying it will take about five minutes. But I'm going to cancel this since I already downloaded this ISO image. So I'm going to cancel. The next thing you'll need is uh, VirtualBox. If you don't have it, just Google VirtualBox download. Then go to oracle.org. And then here you have the options for different operating system. We are doing this on a Windows PC. So go with the Windows host. If you click that, it should start downloading. And this should be a quick download. It says 42 seconds. So again, this one I already downloaded, so I'm just gonna X this. I'll close this and you should have two files, the ISO image and then the uh, .exe file for VirtualBox. Now I already installed VirtualBox. To install it, just click on it and follow the prompt. It's pretty straightforward to install. And then you will need this once we open VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and open VirtualBox. And then once you have VirtualBox open, click on new. So you need, you'll need to give the Android virtual machine a name. I'll call it Android dash one. We're now selecting the ISO image at this point. So go to type and select Linux. And then here, just go all, all the way down at the Linux 64 bit. Click next. Now the minimum you need here is two GBs, and then you also need at least two CPUs. Click next, and then increase the disk size to 20 or more, and then click next. Click finish. This is a virtual machine right here. Right click on it, click settings. We don't need to change this. Under display, increase this to 128, and then you may want to change this to the first option, VBOX VG. Even though it's going to throw an error, just ignore the error. Storage, click on empty, click on this icon, and then choose a disk file. Then choose your ISO image for Android we just downloaded. Click open, and now you can click OK. And another thing you might want to set, I normally set my uh, network. Let me go back to the settings. And then under network, I'm going to change this to bridge. Click OK. And now you can start this virtual machine. So right click it, start, normal start. OK, once you are prompted with this window, just use your arrow key to select advanced options. Press Enter. Then use your arrow key, your down key, and then auto installation. Press Enter. Here, use your arrow keys, select yes, press enter. So it's installing Android, should be a quick install. And now it says run Android and it's on okay. So I'll press enter here to run it. And I'm getting the Android logo here. Now, if you get stuck here and you're only getting a black screen, you might want to verify what you selected for your display options under the settings. So this could take a minute before it loads. So what I'm going to do, let me pause briefly and I'll come back once it's loaded. Okay, it's loaded. That took about three minutes and we are presented with the option to start. So click on start here. 
and then it's asking you to connect to Wi-Fi. If you have Wi-Fi available, you can connect to it. If not, you can just skip. Continue. Here you can change the time. You can change your time zone and the date. So you have to, all you have to do is click on this arrow and then just select what, whatever time you need to select. And then click on next. Just scroll down, click accept. You can change the options and use whatever options you want. Here you can protect your tablet. You can set a pin or password, just click on the option. And then input your pin or password. I'm gonna skip this option. I'll skip anyway. I'm gonna go with the quick setup. Uh, just once and there you are you have your apps on here let's see if we have internet access let's open chrome accept and continue uh, no thanks and here let's do bbc.com and we have no internet so let's see what we can do we can go up here Should we close this out try and expand this a little bit now if, on this icon if we click on it there is no connection here so you have the option to connect to open Wi-Fi. Let's click on this. Then there is Wi-Fi. Let's click on this. And it's connected. You should be able to connect to the same network as your host machine. So let's verify that we have connectivity here. Uh, if we go back to the browser and go to bbc.com you see that now we have internet access and we are able to browse the internet so that's all for this video that's how you can install android os on virtualbox and run it as a virtual machine so i hope this information has been helpful i'll catch you in my next video thanks bye